All right, you beautiful souls, what is happening? This is Fountain of Plug, and I thank y'all for tuning in to another video. In this video, again, I'm sorry, there's nothing that I want to teach, but I just want to put you on, especially if you're looking to produce R&B, because this video is especially for the people that are looking to get contact, however way they can, and they're looking for libraries that they can use right out the bat. So let me just hook you up, all right? The plugs get you covered. Now, two of my most used libraries you can already see here, that is the contact library noir which is an amazing library especially with all these customizable parameters color tonal shift dynamic reverb and delay you've got multiple snapshots which you can choose from you know if the standard regular schmegular thing really isn't for you grand piano particle sound design vintage basically anything i use it as a staple to begin making my beats with to begin uh, laying my chord progressions down with as an alternative to noir, I often flocked, I used to flock to the gentleman, that used to be my go-to piano, but I simply choose noir because it's much more customizable. But in terms of pianos that you feel like using for R&B, I can definitely recommend the gentleman and noir cool thing about these pianos is you can also customize them in terms of velocity. So if you want them to play uh, softer notes, you can basically do this, hold on. So the benefit of velocity sensitive is that you can also add a layer of expressiveness if you want them to have a higher velocity or a lower velocity. I mostly prefer a lower velocity, that's just how I roll, but you go and experiment and determine what works for you, all right? So moving down is picked acoustic, and picked acoustic and electric sunburst are actually similar in the sense that they uh, allow you to play pre-programmed guitar patterns based on your chord progression. However, they also have a variation which is called the melody variation that allows you to just play your own melodies, essentially giving you access, access to a acoustic guitar or a semi-hollow body guitar. Uh, picked acoustic comes with a melody mode right off the bat and for electric sunburst you have to buy the deluxe version. Uh, I suggest you go and do that. There are staples in my R&B beats because I just genuinely like having guitar patterns in the background. Uh, the patterns are not customizable. Well, at least the notes in a pattern are not customizable, but you can customize things as you, do you want them to be picked with a plectrum or picked with a finger. Uh, the voicing, of course, whether they're using roots, fifths, and whatever. So there's a lot of options to choose from and a lot of sound presets to choose from you can even set up the miking you can set up uh, whether it's precise the tuning you can add effects so honestly there's a lot to just go off on so electric sunburst or picked acoustic i used i if preferably i use them both in my r&b beats mostly i use a choice for one whether or not i want an electric guitar or an acoustic guitar but those are again libraries which come with contact that i can recommend okay so let's say Hypothetically speaking, you're looking to make more ethereal kind of beats, ambient, atmospheric. You're thinking OVO kind of R&B. You're thinking Toronto kind of R&B. You're thinking The Weeknd, Party Next Door, Division, Black, those kinds of artists. Cloud Supply is the bank that you want. Cloud Supply is a relatively recent bank. I think it came out in 2020 or end of 2019. And it's meant to cater to the people that are actually looking for more cloudy signs, hence why it's called Cloud Supply. Uh, it's not a sound designing miracle, but it's not set up to be one. Basically, you choose between two patches, you mix them together, you can go to the FX tab and add some effects onto them, you can go to the sound tab and customize the other parameters, and you get sounds like these, which allow you to build more party next door kind of beat.
of course, you're going to need more than good sounds. You're also going to need the skills. But I'm saying good sounds is half the battle because having good sounds allows you to if you have an idea in your head and you don't have to fuss about finding the right sounds and it's good for your workflow and it's just good for making your beats in general. You know, you don't spend too much time trying to realize the idea that's in your head too much and not being bottlenecked by sounds. So um, cloud supply, that's the bank you want. Trust me. Look, if you thought that this was the end, it definitely wasn't. Because another thing that Contact absolutely shines in is having a good assortment of electric pianos. Now, um, depending on which version of Contact you get or how you get Contact, you might either get just the Mark I, the A200, or the Clavinet Pianet, or just the entire Vintage Keys package. Uh, I suggest you try and get the entire Vintage Keys package because it gives you access to all three. The one that I like using the most is the Mark I, uh, but the A200 has a lot of amazing snapshots that you can use. I mean, look at what you had. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, at least 10. Um, you'll have access to at least 20 snapshots, which you can also customize using this engine. You can add inserts, wah wah, compression, chorus, distortion, phaser, an amp, whatever. So you got a highly customizable electric piano. Uh, and if you want to use that in a beat, that sounds something like this. Oh, I'm super proud of this beat. I'm saying you could be making beats like these and yeah, I'm saying you could be using beats like these and it would be easier if having good sounds was not your bottleneck. I'm not saying that having good sounds, once again, I'm not saying that good sounds is a guarantee that you'll be able to make good beats, but uh, at the very least, you want to be bottlenecked by something that you control and that is your skill and not bottlenecked by something that, you know, it's is vague and abstract, like having the right sounds and stuff like that. Feel me? So these are the libraries that I feel at the very least you should look into when you're getting contact and you're looking to make R&B. There's a lot to be said about third party libraries. I mean, it's no secret that I'm a big fan of Evolution Jazz Archtop and Evolution Modern Nylon, which are both provided by Orange Street Samples. In terms of guitars, you can always look at Impact Soundworks. I've got their real, I got their uh, Strat demo and it's amazing. You can look at Ample Sound. They've got amazing guitars with an amazing engine in it too. Uh, there's a lot to be said about third-party libraries, but when you're just starting out, I want you to know that you've already got the sounds you need in the palm of your hand. Just when you cop contact, when you've got Complete 13, or whatever it is how you decide to pursue this, all right? So, thanks again for tuning into my video, and I promise you, we are gonna be back to doing regular cookups very soon. It's gonna be one video after this, and after that, you will see me getting busy and making beats again, all right? busy and making beats i think i do whatever i'm gonna see y'all in the next video y'all be easy peace